How's it going, everybody? This is Just Lord at Just Lord Fitness. Let's start the day off with a like and a sub to get our day started. I'm gonna get to end some good workout for you for everybody today. I did my uh, all-around fitness today, so this is almost a full body. Not quite a full body because I haven't started legs yet. But this is day 77. So let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, I got my warm up. Let's see what I start with today. So we come here, we start off the day. Let's start off with some push-ups. Uh, we do you can do sets of 10 or sets of 20 till you get to 100. You do it, you know, 100 a day is gonna keep you fit. You know what I mean? It's always gonna keep you strong, it's always gonna keep your body ready. You know, I mean always to keep that little tender soreness that you'll have by doing push-ups so you know 20 to 100 20 to 5 sets of 20 you'd be done quickly 10 sets of 10 you still be done so you know try to get your push 100 push-ups a day if you can't get 200 at least get 100 in a day and you'll be good and this is tests tests for strength because last week i only could do one this week i pulled off three so that tells me i got stronger you know it wasn't as hard to do it as it was to do it the whole week before because I was straining before to <laughs> just do one. So that tells me that I got stronger. It's always like, ah, these things are always good for like strength training, always testing yourself to see where you at. So this is why I do this, do this, do one hand push-ups, just to see where I'm at, to see if I'm developing. So, you know, you always try something different, you know. There we go, uh, you know, uh, you know me, I don't know, I don't skip, you know, I don't skip the abs. So, you know, you just get your abs in. Here, we got a nice one right here. You know, this is the hanging one. We, we do about five sets of these. So, you know, you're getting the full stretch of your abs with this one by hanging. So, you're getting that full stretch to the abs. It's hitting every, every, each and every one of those abs you're getting hit. So yeah, this is a good one right here. You do five sets of 10, or you can do 12. But no, whatever is best for you. That's what I say. <clears throat> then we move on here. Uh, we got some um, regular setups uh, you can do right here. These are nice. <laughs> you get a couple of these in. Uh, we do about five sets of these, uh, but you know me, I try to get a hundred in a day, but if you only can do 50, you get 50. Um, but uh, for this day, I, I, I do my 50 at the gym, and then I do 50 at home, so um, that'll be a hundred for the day. You know, another good workout right here. You know, keeps your, keeps your body tight, keeps your abs tight, so yeah, I definitely uh, hit this, you know you do. Two sets of uh, whatever, five sets of twenty, you're done. You know. There we go again. Yeah, uh, I love this weighted um, workout right here because this just gets you stronger to do the regular ones. So here we go. Do our little knee ups here. And this is a help when you're doing regular knee ups, whether you're holding on or whether you're doing it from the machine here. But the, uh, another good exercise right here with the weight, then I trans um, transfer it into the uh, dips. Get you some good dips in. Another uh, great workout, full body right here. You get a little bit of everything, chest, shoulders, a little bit of everything right here. Mm -hmm. so then we come now without the weighted belt. Let's see what I can do. Up, regular knee ups. You know, and as you get better and better, it becomes easier and easier. So you know, you gotta start doing variations of things, you know, to, to attack yourself. So instead of just doing the knee ups, you, you incorporate dips, and then you stop, and then you do some low knee ups. So you try to, you know, attack yourself when it starts getting a little bit easier for you to do. Then you just start attacking it yourself. <laughs> and got another one here. The regular style. So you know you get the regular one then. The assisted. So you, you do that too. You do whatever you can to hit the maps. <laughs> I 
mind. Don't worry, the microwave is doing its work as you speak, as you're doing these ads. The microwave is helping out. Everybody, you know, sometimes I go to the park and get my uh, uh, jog or walk on. So, you know, I got other variations. I'll start making videos when I go to the park as well. You know, do a little bit of exercise there. And, you know, I'll start making videos for that as well. So, but, uh, you know, people want to get out here and start working, you know. I'll, uh, I'll leave my email today at the end of the video. So, if you want to contact me, get these workouts in. We can do it. Oh, not a problem for me. You know, we get these side to side here. Uh, you know, just work on helping with the hips, get them uh, obliques on the side. So, you know, nice little work out there. You know, we just do a little bit of back. You know, so, you know just again, another way to get stronger at pull-ups and things like that so you know work on the back always great with this assisted uh extra weight so this helps with your pull-ups because like i said this is helping me greatly with my pull-ups and uh where would i be without this you know you know that puts that extra stress on your muscles that you know keeps them tight until you get to the next day Helps you again, like I said, it makes doing regular pull ups so much easier because now you don't got that weight on your back, so now you just feel light when you're doing regular puts, um, pull ups. So, you know, you try to get at least you know, uh, four to five sets of the weighted, and then you hit five sets of, of the non weighted. So, you do about 10 of those, uh, the non weighted ones, 10, 10 to 12 if you can. So, you know. Uh, that'll help out you know I mean, with uh, just what you're getting better with your strength, especially on the weighted. And now that you're doing more uh, pull-ups, you should be able to start doing more weighted uh, pull-ups as well. Uh, and then, you know, once you, like I me, mean, I, hit, I hit a plateau. Once I hit 10, then I move up. So, you know, I hit 10, I'm on a 45 plate now, doing about six, six to seven reps. So getting close to 10 on 44 over 45 so yeah it's, really, it's going pretty well you know we attack them shoulders as well you know get a little bit of shoulder work in just keep uh you know keep my shoulders ready for when it is ready when the shoulder day you know i always like i said depending on whatever whatever i'm doing i like to at least hit each body part once or twice even if i'm working on legs and shoulders one day i like to just probably do like two to the things of chest or whatever, get about three sets, six to three to six sets, and on some chest and some back, and, you know, hit a little bit of everything, whatever day I'm, whatever was my day for my workout, so I will hit something that I'm not working out that day. Oh, and these right here, these are uh, good right here. Uh, I start this off with just a bar. I call it, uh, you know, you do the hundreds. So you start off with the bar. I mean, I do the bar. You can do how many you want on the bar. So I do about 30 there. Then I throw on some tens, and then whatever rep that out to whatever I get out of the tens. So I think maybe on this one I got about 25 reps out of the tens. So I did about 55 already. So then you just move up from there. Put the 25, 35, and 45 on. Then once you're done with the 45, whatever you at there, you just wrap it back out with the bar till you get to 100. Now, nice little workout right here. This is going to get you them shoulders that you want rounded, uh, crazy looking shoulders. And you know you like you do this on a non-shoulder day because this uh you know keep the shoulders and uh good and ready for your next shoulder day right here. You just do 100 of these. Very good work out there. Mm -mm. And I felt like that shoot I was getting it today. You know, I'm trying to 
around and round them shoulders out to see, see if I can get them rounded. <laughs> them adding some a couple of new exercises. Uh, <laughs> and I'll show those off soon. Uh, I'll do some shoulder work. Hit a hundred of these, your shoulders are gonna be on fire, but you're gonna be good uh, shoulder-wise from doing this all the time. <clears throat> you know, and as it get lighter, like I said, as it gets lighter, once I start hitting 10 on the 45, uh, on the 135, that's when it's on. That's when I'm gonna get it once I start hitting 10 on that. Once I hit 10 on that, then I'll put it up to 45 and some 10s on the side. I'll go up. <clears throat> oh, here we go. We hit these our Arnold presses right here. Always good to do these on show today. Uh, but I like to do them on the off on the offshore the show the days. I don't do the Arnold on my uh, any of my shoulder days. I always do it on an off day. I mean, just to always keep my shoulders ready and tight. And then we got, I think this is another variation exercise here. So, you know, another good variation exercise. This is uh, definitely good you know, for, for the shoulder joints. This will keep you, in the, this will tighten everything up right here. <laughs> this is good variations right here. I mean, you're doing your little dumbbell lifts right here. You know, you switch it with the traps. Get yourself 10 of those in. It's always good. You don't need a heavy weight. You can do it with a light weight. You don't need nothing crazy because you're going to feel it regardless after you do about 30 of these. So you'll feel it anyway. The way to feel like it's about 30 pounds. So uh, don't worry about it being a lighter weight. So we're going to do some arm workouts real quick. And, you know, this is just a you know, little circuit for me, so, you know, I start off heavy. Right, so we can, whatever we can get out of this uh, little wrapper right here. So, you know, I think that was a nice amount. <laughs> Go halfway and we'll finish it up. That's all I need to do five sets, five sets of that, and you just keep finishing up until you burn. So you burn out, then you put it back. So it's nice, it's a nice little uh, burnout right there. Uh, we're getting down to the end of my day, and, which I had a fabulous day working out. <laughs> like I said. Anybody who, who's trying to work out, if you feel like you can't work out, or you need somebody to work out with, I'm your guy. Just hit me up. I'm always in the gym. I mean, after work, the gym. So, you know, get, get it in. If you want to, you know, get in here and lose some weight, let's go. It's not, you know, it's not hard. Look at me. Down 23 pounds. So, look, anybody can do it. It's all about your focus. And the will to do it. That's it. You can't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Or you can't believe that you can't do it. Because you can't. It's not uh, about starting out lifting and all of that. You can try to start out small and do small things. To, uh, you know, start your workout. You can start it at home. Yeah, drinking water. And, you know, doing a little push-up. Maybe jump some rope at home. I mean, then, you know, maybe, maybe that'll give you a little bit of confidence to get out here and get to the gym. So, you know, get out here. You know, I took a long time off, so I know, I know how it be 
when you don't want to be out doing this. So, you know I mean? just make sure, again, make sure y'all like and subscribe. And, you know, get your boy on this YouTube love. All right. Here's, here's my contact right there. If y'all want to get in touch with me, it's right there, baby.